We're a good ways into the oil interchange project. Uh, the project itself allows a better access to and from the New Orleans airport. It was just recently opened up about a year or two ago, and with that opening, it increased a lot of the traffic demand coming through this area. So this flyover project will alleviate a lot of the traffic. I really can't wait to see when it's open and see how well the traffic's gonna be flowing in and out of here, as well as aesthetically uh, pleasing as it's gonna look. It's gonna be a very, very nice looking project, and it should function very well and improve traffic in this area. What we're gonna have is two flyover ramps coming to and from the airport to New Orleans East uh, with retaining the at-grade ramps as well. We're using what they call a diversion diamond interchange uh, that helps alleviate traffic when you have a lot of heavy left turn movements, which allows uh, the movements at-grade underneath to function better because of the heavy left turn movements uh, we currently have. So uh, all this together will improve the traffic and allow traffic for years to come to function properly in this area. It's very important. This is, for a lot of people, their first impression of Louisiana coming and going from the New Orleans airport, as well as some of the daily commuters in this area going to and from work. This project will be very aesthetically pleasing. It, it'll, it'll have a surface finish coat put on the whole, the flyovers, the existing Loyola structure itself, as well as some nice LED lighting. We'll see the Diversion Diamond Interchange portion at grade opening sometime this late summer with the flyovers sometime early next year. Uh, when the DDI opens up, you'll, you'll see some relief of the traffic allowing that improvement. And then eventually when the flyovers open up and uh, sometime early next year, you'll definitely see an improvement there as well. In order to make a project like this happen, uh, working with the, uh, the airport, DOTD, Jefferson Parish, City of Kenner, City of New Orleans, FHWA, FAA, the consultant and contractor team, all that's needed to make something like this happen. And Dr. Sean Wilson was a great uh, help in, in leadership for DOTD to work with everyone to make it happen. The structure will have a design life of about 100 years. So this will be a significant structure slash monument in the area.